This is Dr. Chris from and Dr. Zahn. From Operation Ouch, and we are here in Dr. Zahn's house answering questions about coronavirus. And That's the house, right. The house is a right old mess, so we're only going to show I you this. I am not turning the camera around we're on my you this little private stuff. tiny bit of wall. Now, question number 842, Chris. Who's to blame? Because I think blame is very important. I remember when we were little, you always used to do annoying things. And I always tried to get everyone to understand that it was your fault. Well, that is true. And anyone in uh, who's at school or with a family knows that blame can feel really important. But I you'll love also know to blame. But you'll Dr. also Chris. you'll also know that often when you try and sort out who started this, grown-ups are not very interested. It's true. And that's because Typically, no one really started it. There's a misunderstanding or an initial problem and no one is actually to blame. And that is the situation here. There is no one individual, no country and no culture that is specifically to blame. So this virus could have jumped anywhere in the world. It happened to jump at a food market in China. Jump out of animals. Jump out of animals, but it could have happened bad. anywhere. So the truth is no one is to blame. Blame is not going to be helpful here. And uh, the most important thing we can do is to realise that as a species... We are facing a big threat um, and we need to all pull together. And the biggest, most important thing is going to be to be kind to each other. So be nice to everybody. And don't but worry don't about hug who them. started it. Yes, but no hugging. No hugging. A little elbow bump or a little foot tap. Bye!